I think it's safer for the patient to start with ultrasound rather than starting with a, uh, a study that requires uh, x-ray. It's easy, it's efficient, it's very cost effective. Not only that, but if you go to CT, you have things like uh, ionizing radiation. And certainly, that is something that can induce cancer over long term. We know that. The higher the dose, the more dangerous it is. Uh, and it certainly saves a lot of money for the patient individually and for the healthcare system if we can use a relatively less expensive modality like ultrasound. Literally, I've seen people who have had hip replacement where if we had gotten to them with ultrasound first to see that they in fact had a hernia, it could have had a much simpler hernia operation and saved all the pain, suffering, and cost of a very expensive hip replacement. Nowadays, patients with pelvic pain come in and they often get a CT scan or an MR scan. And then finally, they come to ultrasound because neither the CT or the MR have been able to figure out what's going on. And uh, usually with ultrasound, we're able to figure out what's going on. And so for many years, people thought, well, you have to have a CT or you have to have an MR for the diagnosis of endometriosis or for the diagnosis of appendicitis and all these things that might cause pain. Um, and nowadays, we know that ultrasound is actually better. Uh, and we are trying to change uh, the approach, uh, particularly in the uh, emergency ward, for example, where patients with pelvic pain will get a CT scan before they even see a doctor for the most part. I think the reason people don't go to ultrasound first is really uh, habits and comfort. They've been doing certain uh, patterns of testing for many years. They're used to doing those tests and they aren't thinking about some of the new things we have in, a, in ultrasound now, such as the use of 3D ultrasound to define the shape of the uterus. It, it just doesn't enter their consciousness yet as something that they ought to, ought to get as a, a, the first step in a workup. And so that's why I've really turned my sights um, onto medical students. The pluripotent stem cell that it's going to go into many, many different specialties. And there's a, almost virtually every specialty uses ultrasound. Um, and so to teach them throughout medical school, so that by the time they reach their fourth year medical school, it's more of an instinctual think ultrasound first before going to another modality. I think we have to keep getting the message out there to make people think of ultrasound first to get it to be used more widely. I don't think it's uh, that there's resistance inherently in the system. I don't think people are uh, opposed to ultrasound. They just don't think about it as the first step like they should. For all these reasons combined, it makes a lot of sense that for patients and for healthcare workers to be offering ultrasound first to many diagnostic uh, to many diagnostic situations where patients present with medical conditions where there is strong evidence that ultrasound provide the information at least in the same magnitude as other imaging modalities that are available today. And that's what Ultrasound First is all about.